Hello everyone. Welcome to our show today. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today we're going to do a little, actually this is going to be for Mr. James Fisher. He said he liked mountains, so we're going to paint a bunch of mountains today. And this will be, James, this is for you. He does such a great job uh, editing our show and taking care of it. Almost making me look good. But anyhow, glad you're here. So come over to the palette and we'll start. Okay, first of all, in order to get some mountains, we need a sky back there. And I'm going to start out with a little of this light blue. And I've got about a, a two-inch brush here. That's so we can get along real fast. Now what I'm going to do, I love a blue sky, and I'm just taking a brush and scrubbing it across there. And I don't care about the little white areas that are left in there, because that will be where we'll probably put some of our clouds. I'm going to come on down, but I'm going to take most of this up, probably with the mountains. I'm going to smooth that out just a touch. Now I'm not sure what we'll do down here, so we'll just put a little blue down here. I'm not, not sure. Now what I'm going to do with the, with the edges up here, I'm going to put a little dark in there. This is Persian blue and it is dark. Now I may make a big water area down here. We'll, we'll see. I, actually, right now I'm just covering the canvas. And all of this color down here probably will be mostly covered up. Now I'm going back up here and smooth out that blue that I put on there. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, I wear out a lot of brushes. Canvas, it's got sort of a grain on it. And I'm scrubbing the canvas. In other words, it's almost like sandpaper. Okay, now that's about what I want in the color for the sky. I'm going to clean that brush out. Now we've almost got the whole canvas covered. I'm going to clean that brush out. We may want to use it again in a minute. Now I'm going to grab a little bit smaller brush. Let's see. Let's try that one. I've got most of all of my brushes in oil, so I usually wash them out a little bit. And again, I'll tell you, we've got a bunch of white here. This might not be the... Now I'm going to put those up pretty far because I want my mountain to come up over a lot of that. Now what I'm doing, I'm just going straight into the white, and I don't mind getting a little blue in this one, because I'll keep one of them real clean. I love these big old fluffy clouds. And I'm just taking a brush and jabbing it straight into the canvas. And the bottom, I'm just blending out a little bit. The top I'm going to smooth just a little bit. I 
I like a lot of big old fluffy white pretty clouds. This brush is uh, shedding a few hairs. That's okay. Now I'm, I'm blending this out, and the reason I'm doing that, I'll show you in a minute. I want it to be sort of smooth. It's sort of like clouds behind the mountains, and maybe some in front too. Now I'm going to go just a little wider in a few places. You see that where I blended it in gives you a little shadow under them, which I like. Okay, that's good enough for that. Now I'm going to Rinse that little brush out. We'll probably use it again. Now, there's a number of ways to do mountains. Uh, now, these mountains, I want to make them sort of, I want to make them sort of dark, but I want them sort of red. This is Van Dyke Brown. That makes a pretty mountain color within itself. But I want it just a touch of red in it. What that does, just with the red, let me get a little bit more. If you notice, it makes a lighter, lighter brown. And that's, that's pretty good what I want. But I want it a little bit lighter yet. Now this is just for one area. We'll probably put a little, this looks like black, but it's Payne's gray. Now I've got two different colors there. I'm gonna start with the dark. I'm gonna get a little roll on the knife. I'm trying to make, a, you can do this with a brush if you want to. A little more. A little more. Now I'm going to go with the light just a little bit over in this area. You can't hardly tell the difference, can you? A little dark. And I'm not trying to cover them completely. If you noticed, I've left some areas in there. And I faded it out a little bit on the edge. You don't have to do that because more than likely we'll have all kinds of trees and stuff in here. But you see, I'm just taking the knife and pushing up a little bit. And I'm going all the way off the edge over here. I'm going to put just a touch right in here. Now, a little dark.
Okay, now I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. I'm going to take a blending brush. Let me grab a brush here. Either one of those would do. Oops, excuse me while I get my brush. Sorry about that. Okay. Now what I'm doing now is just blending it out here. This will be uh, and there again this color down here and if you notice I've let a little bit of the mountain color shine through. Just blending the bottom of them. Blend them out real good. Now down here, I'm not sure what we'll do down there, but let me grab my knife again. Not sure where this will be. Okay, good enough. Not sure what we'll do there. We'll leave that to later. Okay, that's good enough. Rinse that brush out. Drop him over there. Okay, now, let me grab my little palette knife again. I want to put some highlights on these mountains and some shadows. So I'm going to take a little white, pull right back here. Now watch this, I'm taking that blue, actually both colors, and just intermixing it. I'm going to take a little alizarin crimson. Don't that make a pretty color? Look at that. Mm. Beautiful. Then I just flatten it out like that. Then I'll come in and get a little roll on it. Now you can use this for the background shadows or the front shadows. I'm probably going to put some white up in that area. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle, but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to earlroseart.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com We won't go to too much detail over in that area. Right in here, I've got an extra little mountain in here. I want a little bit of that over in here, too. Most of this will probably be covered up. Beautiful. Isn't that a pretty color? All right. Now 
This one a little more right there. Okay, now I'm going to clean that off just a little bit. I'm going to go into my white. I'm going to get it over here where I can get to it a little better. Let me wipe that off. Okay. Wipe it off, got too much dark in it. All right. Now I'm going to put a little bit over here. Now what you can do, you can come back in with your dark color, wherever you think it needs it. And put a little dark on it. Now I'm going to grab a little Payne's Gray. Put right in here. Okay. Now I want to put a little bit right, highlight right there. You see how that mountain comes down runs into this other one down here. Rinse him out. I'm going to wipe that out a little bit right here. Now we're really going to town on this one. Now, what I would like to do is I'm going to move this over just a little bit, Jim. I believe that's where we usually keep it. Now I'm going to grab a, let me grab a real nice, that looks like a good one right there. I'm going to rinse him out just a little bit. I got a little oil in all of this. Now this is a fan brush. Of course, you probably have seen me use these before. Now, I'm going to put some background trees in here. First of all, I want them, I th I want them real dark. Because as I come forward, I'm going to make them lighter. So I'm going to put some real pretty dark trees back in this area. In order to do that, I'm going to use Van Dyke Brown, 
paints gray, or you can use black if you have it. Now that's a real dark color. Now I could use that straight, but I'm going to grab a little bit of this green. And you probably won't even be able to see it much. The canvas probably will know it. And that looks like about what, what we'll use. Now, in order to make them real dark, and this brush, I'm just going right straight into the end of it. I'm not trying to fill it up all the way, just on the end. And the way you start making trees, now I'm going to make them come right into here and same way here. So I'll start probably right in here. Now what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to dip that in thinner. Whoops. Don't want it running off of the palette. Might have got too much though. Let's see if I did. Let's try it and see. Now did you see what I done? All I done was thin the color. Anytime you're working with oil paint and you get a whole lot of color behind and it won't cover, all, all you got to do is just put a little thinner in it and see it starts to co cover then. Now, it looks like I'm putting little telephone poles here, don't it? But let's start and put some... Uh, now you can see the green that I put in there. Now I'm going to mix a little bit more of that color in there. Yeah, there you go. Now I'm going to keep this sort of dark to start with in this area. We'll probably want to lighten it up as we go. But right now I want it sort of dark. Okay, now I'm going on across. I'm going to put some trees over here. Now I'm just taking, first of all, I'm just making, a, you don't have to do that, you don't have to make a line all the way down through if you don't want to. Sometimes I like to because it helps you keep them about where you want them. Then you make different kinds of trees and bushes and whatever. Make all of these little trees in the distance. These are little faded out trees which is what we like way in the distance. Then I'm just going to fill this in 
a little bit. I want it dark, so I, actually I'm making it dark so I can highlight it <coughs> real good. And anywhere you want to make a little bush or tree sticking up, why just take your little brush and do it sort of like that, and you have a whole bunch of little things. And you see where I left the highlights? Those will all look really good when we start putting our grass highlights and stuff in there. Now I'm actually just just filling in, actually. Uh, and I'm just, just putting a little more dark in there and then blending it in. And I'm coming all the way down into this area. And we haven't separated anything yet. But we probably will. And now I'm just pulling down some of the dark green. And I probably will, probably will put a, some kind of lake down here. I'm not sure if it'll be all the way or if we'll put it behind something. Anyhow, we've got about a half a minute. I'm just going to go right here and just see what it would look like. Anyhow, I guess we better let you go for today, but we've enjoyed being with you so much today. And come back next week, and we'll do a little bit more to our picture. Thank you for coming by. Goodbye, and God bless.